All wine is, is a blend of something. What we do here in Oregon with Pinot Noir, it's all Pinot Noir in the bottle, but it's coming from different barrels of Pinot. Bringing the people behind our food to life. You know, I think winemaking, there's, a, there's some science to it, but there's a lot of art to it. In fact, in the blending process, I think it's mostly art. A lot of the science in winemaking occurs early on in the process. Um, in the vineyard, in the fermentation, during harvest, during crush. But when you get down to, to actually blending wines and coming up with the final product that you're going to put into bottle, it's mostly art at that point. It's mostly what you're tasting on your palate and deciding whether that's the wine you want to present from the vintage. When we work with our wine, our goal is not to have a single um, one style of wine in our, in our barrel cave. What I really want is I want 120, let's say I have 120 barrels in the cave, I want 120 different colors, let's say, of Pinot Noir. I want some with red fruit, I want some with darker fruit, I want some that have an earthy component, some with softer acids, some maybe with sharper acids, some with a lot of tannin, maybe some with really elegant tannins. The reason I'm looking for 120 different barrels is because here at Trisatum, I actually we actually blend uh, eight different Pinot Noirs from those 120 barrels. And the only way I could do that is if each of the barrels down in the cave um, have different components to them. And then the blending process is where we, we seek out those different components. It's a little bit more elegant. Yeah. It's got length but elegance. Yeah, it's certainly that roughness we saw in the first blend is completely gone now. Um, I think I even know which one of your paintings would go well in this bottle. <laughs> well, that's good. We'll have to, uh, we'll see if it's a match. When I approach a painting, I don't want to just paint in blue. I want to have reds and yellows and whites and, and other colors to bring into the, into the painting. When I'm putting together a, a, a blend of Pinot Noir, I don't want just strawberry flavored Pinot Noir or cherry flavored Pinot Noir. I want, I want blackberries, I want blueberries, I want um, floral components, violets, I want earthiness and spice, whether it's cinnamon or maybe it's maybe it's cocoa or leather, all of those components come together, for me, make a much more interesting wine if there's complexity to it, just like a piece of art that has some complexity and some layers and some depth. That's what I'm looking for in a bottle of wine as well.